Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some uh, Brute Beatdown, which is very surprising for my YouTube channel because I usually cover like some high skill content, but like, come on, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. There's a, there is some audience of mine which prefers some brain dead decks, and that's what <laughs> we're gonna do today. My opponent will be Spaceman with C scan and two males, who's gonna get absolutely overwhelmed by, the, by this brute first play, and yeah, he's gonna just drop the tower in the first uh, 40 seconds of the game. I'm gonna play for his Viking tower. I'm not gonna take it right away, but it's already very low, and I I am pretty proud of my position. Maybe T-Rex was an overcommitment, but you never know. Uh, Already a very good play, especially like ignoring the gunner. Usually, if you are a beatdown player, you have to know when to uh, not over defend your uh, site and instead just go for it, go, 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 and uh, basically uh, get more damage on your opponent's site. So, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And Spaceman actually already resigned, so, very nice, pretty much first play win uh, out of me. And yeah, we're gonna just jump the game number two after that. Next game will be against Ward in all caps. Very menacingly sounding name. It's go he's gonna be playing actually Skeleton's first play, which pretty mu can much can mean any deck. I'm probably expecting 2.6 Super Ape Psycho. And if he doesn't play anything with these Skeletons, I'm very comfortable of cycling just uh, T Rex on the lane I'm comfortable with. I'm gonna play Poison. Honestly, at this point of the game, since I don't have Brute, I can play very aggressively uh, with my mana, pretty much trying to force out uh, some plays out of him. Uh, he still pretty much wants to react to my plays, and even though he is receiving the beating of his life, uh, I feel like he should be doing something at this point, and yeah. He's just uh, ignoring my fifth, which is... Uh, not something that I think he should be doing. Uh, at least they didn't teach me uh, this play in my school of Boomarina. And uh, with that being said, my opponent actually... I wouldn't say he rage quits, but I feel like he just lagged out and gives this game for us for free. So we're gonna just take it. Honestly, why not? Uh, and yeah, see you guys in the next game. And the next game of today's video will be played against Erika SR, who, as far as I know, uh, is playing a uh, three gunners Dark Knight deck. So we have to be, uh, we'll have to be very careful about this. Unless he's playing Viking Bird Spam, in this case, it's gonna be absolutely fine for us. But I'm gonna still be careful because I don't really remember his deck 100%. Uh, okay, he's yeah, he's playing three gunners deck. That's that's without the question. I'm gonna just play uh, T-Rex because why not, honestly, uh, on a weak side tower, but yeah, I mean on a strong side tower, yeah, that's a problem. I'm gonna play uh, Poison on the three gunners, pretty much get them out of the equation as soon as I can. One of the gunners will survive, which will be a bit of a nuisance if he decides to commit into her, and if he doesn't, uh, well, that's gonna be just a very nice cleanup for me. This gunner will cross, I'm gonna get a nice uh, blitz, and right now he gets a mana collector, which means I am fully entitled to just go in and uh, wreak some havoc in his position. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be playing Dark Knight here, uh, I'm gonna play Drunker, uh, just to keep uh, this Dark Knight out of uh, my book. And right now I'm gonna just play Fifth and keep pounding on his position, maybe I'm gonna get some break and maybe he's gonna just get a full cleanup. No, Thief gets on the tower and that's gonna be a massive damage. Although right now he's gonna get some back because I don't see myself stopping these twins. I'm gonna get a blitz on uh, these stone phones because they would be annoying and would kill my uh, super devil. And right now we enter the phase of the game which I'm uh, scared of the most. Because right now, yeah, he's gonna play uh, some uh, second mana collector and right now I cannot counterplay him because he already has more mana than I do. So I'm gonna have to be playing a poison right here. Uh, I'm gonna get some damage on uh, one, of, one of the gunners, which is already fine. Uh, though I'm gonna be... Uh, I'll have to be very careful about uh, everything else. Uh, I think I'm gonna just try to mitigate the damage on this side and try to uh, 
basically not die here. If I don't die, that's gonna be already a huge achievement in my books. And there we go. He's gonna play another tree. I have absolutely no idea why I thought that two gunners are going on the opposite side, but like at this point I don't think it matters too much. I'm gonna play Super Devil to whittle these gunners down. This a ghost will be absolutely having a blast on my tower, but at the same time I pretty much cannot afford to defend him, so this uh, defensive resource was necessary. I'm gonna play Mother Devil and that's gonna be a uh, saddest Mother Devil of all time, unfortunately. Uh, I'll have to be forced uh, to spend something here as well. Yeah, my, my position is absolutely not good, so I'm gonna just uh, try to uh, not die. Uh, and I think I'm gonna actually fail at this right now because I don't think I can stop these twins. Yeah, there we go, GG's. Unfortunately, we don't get away with playing very aggressively in single mana and uh, yeah, I wasn't able to accomplish my whole plans uh, across the game. Usually if you take the tower after they play mana collector, you win, but if you don't, you are in a serious trouble and that's what happened in this game, so... A lesson for uh, tomorrow is that you have to make a full push before pushing into a 3-gunner's player. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number 3, I believe. Let's jump to the game number 4. And right now we're gonna be actually facing Samira with 45 medals to spare. We're gonna be playing 5th on uh, first play to just try to re recognize which deck is he playing. He's gonna respond with devils, which is very fair response to what we've played, some devils. He got some damage, uh, I mean, we got some damage with 5th, so we are gonna just uh, give some back, uh, just to uh, make things fair. There's no reason to try to uh, maintain uh, the damage advantage for uh, uh, for absolutely no reason. We're in a beat down side, so usually getting even a beating in single is fine, uh, as long as we can uh, Guarantee ourselves a uh, non-stop momentum uh, in the mana, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty much our strategy for this game. I'm gonna play a uh, devil, a super devil uh, per se, against his T-Rex, and right now we have a push which I don't think he can stop. Yeah, he, he plays a devil horde which will put some work against my brute. But I don't think he's gonna be having uh, enough. I'm gonna play some Drunker here to just tank for the tower. And uh, as soon as Drunker dies, uh, everything else will be just uh, uh, madnessed up. And he even doesn't die, so that was a very quick game. Like you see, if you get the push rolling, it's very difficult for your opponent to stop it because he has to be very precise with his play. And my opponent. Unfortunately, he wasn't. GG's nice plate, let's jump to the next game of today's video. And right now we're gonna face once again another player with zero medals and very weird nickname, but we're not gonna wonder about intricacies of this nickname, we're gonna just try to get our medals. So my opponent will be playing Twins first play, getting some damage and then playing Poison to defend, which is very weird because my Thief will still connect. I'm gonna just play Super Devil because right now I know they have a huge mana advantage of here after he played Poison, after he played other cards. He's gonna play Piercing Archer, which is definitely a good play. Uh, if I wanted to stack more troops, I would be in a uh, some sort of trouble. But since I'm gonna just be going with some Light Brute Pressure, which I was able to recognize after he played a uh, after a Piercing Archer, it was just not worth it to commit more troops. Right now I'm gonna play fifth to completely counter this uh, this longsword. If you time it in the right way, uh, the longsword won't hit back the fifth, and that's definitely the interaction you should be going for. My opponent will miss the skeletons uh, to kite the fifth, which will be a detrimental mistake as his tower falls down, and I'm gonna be just up one zero. Very cool to see. Uh, next thing, okay, my opponent already starts a BM, which, uh, like you probably can tell, is not something uh, perfect for us. We're gonna stop these twins, and uh, unfortunately our mother devil will fall in the process, and I'm gonna even get some unnecessary hits. But at the same time, I don't think it's too bad. We're gonna get some offensive pressure, which our opponent will stop with a longsword. I absolutely forgot time my opponent has a longsword. 
and because of that I'm gonna receive some unnecessary uh, uh, unnecessary damage uh, on my brood and yeah that's why my opponent will be getting away with playing very uh, aggressively he's gonna play another longsword probably expecting me to play a um, <coughs> to play a brute again but it's not this time because I learned from my mistakes and I know that Mother Devil actually outranges Longsword so that's gonna be a very good interaction for me I'm gonna actually go in for a push because honestly why not my opponent will be playing another piercing archer but this time I don't think he can hold it unless of course Fifth want to dash into a Longsword then he can hold it and uh, yeah Right now my opponent's pretty much only chance is playing Dark Knight and then Twins and if he doesn't get the damage he needs uh, it's gonna be just a wrap so uh, I'm gonna try to stop this Dark Knight for as long as possible it actually gets a jump but it doesn't really matter because uh, it wasn't just enough GG's nice played and yeah I think we're gonna just do one more game for this deck uh, and we're gonna wrap the video up see you guys then and the last game of today's video will be against Legend Sniper who has 530 medals, you probably can read so I didn't have to explain it, but at the same time it's nice to remember. One more thing that I had to remember though is that uh, actually the deck I'm playing is very old deck which uh, was kinda invented by my uh, very old uh, friend who apparently doesn't play Boom Arena anymore but was playing it in an early days and was very good at it was Max and uh, even though this name sounds uh, very generic I've had a very nice re uh, relation with him and uh, and we've had a very nice uh, time uh, playing together this game so um, uh, li like I've said he was uh, very good at this deck even to the point that he was uh, number one a couple of times on a Boom Arena leaderboards and uh, Obviously, uh, since uh, since uh, all of the uh, top one players are very uh, followed by the player base, his deck was at some point uh, the most popular like uh, uh, original deck of Boom Arena, except like default deck and 2.6. These were like always on the top two uh, spots of the Boom Arena decks. But it's for a reason that a, a clone game of a Boom Arena kind of uses. Um, uh, users uh, very like 2.6 and uh, for that reason 2.6 is the most popular and the default deck was the uh, second popular for a long time for the reason that pretty much uh, almost everyone wants to just uh, check this game very quick uh, uh, and uh, they don't even bother to change their deck so that's pretty much the reason I'm gonna play Super Devil here just to uh, just to uh, start chipping uh, this uh, steel hammer down I'm gonna just play a... Uh, I actually have to uh, properly defend these twins because my opponent is very aggressive I'm gonna actually suck this uh, helicopter I probably shouldn't I'm gonna play a brute in the back and I'm gonna play uh, poison on these mana collectors to not allow him to get like an insane uh, mana advantage. I'm gonna play T-Rex because why not? And my opponent will be going for the opposite lane uh, for a very very big push so I'll have to be very careful about that and pretty much stop him if uh, possible and it should be possible although yeah I don't think it's possible anymore so I have to just go for the tower trade and I think it was too late so I kind of underestimated my opponent I should be way more aggressive in the single mana and he gets away with the win very unfortunate that I get two losses in today's video but uh, it's uh, it's very sure that uh, I'm not as good as Max as play at playing this deck maybe I'm just splitting my attention too much I should be like all inning more that's probably what uh, has happened because my opponent was pretty much always on point with counterplay and I should be focusing on making the push which will just steamroll my opponent and bring the victory home. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Even, uh, even though it was pretty poor gameplay, I still think there are some things that are worth like uh, trying with this deck. Uh, 
you can rate my gameplay in the comments if you're more experienced with beatdown because uh, I'm not like top tier beatdown player and I'm sure that some of you kind of can share some tips uh, in the comments for uh, for me and for other guys that sh uh, also looked up this video. So yeah, thanks for watching till the end and if you did enjoy, uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post more content every single day and you definitely don't want to miss out better videos than that. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Thanks you for watching till the end. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boomarina.